Today, I'll be unboxing the Pot Collection. Now, this collection came out, I believe, last year, 2020, actually. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's just what they put on the thing. But it apparently comes with all the pots, and I need to upgrade my Pot of Greed. So, we're going to go ahead and get to the best pot possible, which is Pot of Greed. If you want to draw your Pot of Greeds, you kind of have to have the highest rarity. Same with Dashu. Okay, they just, they come raw dog just in the box like that. That seems not the greatest. I'll open these in a moment. A uh, piece of cardboard, tight. Wow, there's actually, okay, I did not know this. There's like a pot for every single thing. Okay, so, wow. Wow, I'm gonna, this is actually gonna be like way longer than I thought it would be. Uh, okay, geez. I'm just gonna hard cut to opening these one moment. Okay, I opened it all. We're gonna try and go through these cards here and then figure it out. I haven't really looked at it. I'm gonna put them here. So obviously we have the Pot of Greed. These things are actually pretty easy to put together. It's actually enjoyable. I thought initially when I first started, I was like, I'm gonna hate this, but it's okay. Also, it looks like one of these little guys. They kind of just chill on the top of it. Uh, I don't really know what's up with this like, this like snake thing. If you guys know in the comments, I'm guessing it just comes out of the pots, but yeah, there's that. So that's Pot of Greed. The Pot of Greed card uh, comes with the 25th anniversary stamp. I will show it closer here. And as well as a, I don't know, this weird kind of other Pot of Greed without the stamp, but it looks like a Hobby League card. Interesting. Next up, we have Pot of Generosity. Where's, we got, there it is right here. It's uh, also like a Hobby League kind of rarity. Uh, the action figure itself looks interesting. Pretty much what I thought it would be. We got the Pot of Avarice. Uh, kind of Hobby League. Where, where's my Pot of Avarice? This one here? Yeah. Got the big tongue sticking out. Blech. It's got the jar on the back. Not bad. I didn't realize that all of this would come inside the uh, box here. All right, pot of benevolence. Hobby League card here. Uh, we got we got pot of benevolence. Some of these I've literally never heard of. Never really thought that they were good. I guess so. We got the pot of riches. So this one's the fat one. Where's the fat one? Look up. This one's pretty big. Pretty, pretty cool looking jars. They're, they're not light. They're not heavy, but they're definitely like they seem durable. They came in a packaging that had me a little concerned, but it's, it's all right. Pot of a equivativeness. I'll be like as well. This is some freaky old looking jar. What's a Street Fighter character? Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, okay. And we got a Pot of Duality, which is this one right here. Got the Duality here. And the, I guess, jar on the back, the Pot of Greed or whatever. Uh, we got the Pot of Dichotomy, another one I needed. That is this one here. Thank you. Got the tongue sticking out. And he's got the other guy in the back. We got the Pot of Desires, which is, I believe, this one, because he's got this crazy tongue. I'm assuming they're not gonna make any more pots. I mean, they can't make any more if you've already gotten the, you know, all the cards and the pot, and then suddenly they make another pot. What are you gonna do? Like. You have no more collection having your wall. Pretty cool display pieces. Pot of Prosperity. Uh, that's this one right here. It's got the Tuco. Oh, his forehead's coming off here. Uh, pot of Duality on the back. Or is that his hand? It just like clips in there. It doesn't seem very strong. Maybe I gotta like squish it anymore. It's the fork and spoon on the top. Uh, oh, okay, this is, I guess, what I was wondering. Spirit of the Pot of Greed, which is that little guy that I lost over here. So he just goes right on the top, he just sits there. 
Um, if a player activates Pot of Greed, activate the effect, they can draw one card. This card must be in face-up attack position to activate and resolve this effect. Yikers. Okay. And we got a Moray of Greed, I guess because it is a Greed card, which makes sense. This is a fish eel thing. Okay, I guess I answered my own question. Interesting. And lastly, I have Shard of Greed. Oh, sheesh. We thought it actually just broke. I actually just have a Shard of Greed. Well, interesting. Pretty cool collection. Definitely gonna be able to like put this on the shelf and have someone be like, what the heck is all these things here? Um, and I got the Pot of Greed, which I need for the Goat rare, goat Format Rarity Upgrade. Uh, yeah. Let me know if you guys got the Pot of Greed or which pot's your favorite. Peace.